So hello, my name is Brian Coughlin. I'm a professor of polymer science and engineering here at the University of Massachusetts Amherst. The motivation for my research that the students and I pursue in the laboratory are really directed to a number of global societal challenges. Right? We think about issues of renewable energy, we think about energy and water, and the coupling of those two entities that are critical to the human lifestyle. We think about sustainability and in particular polymer upcycling. So we strive to do synthetic polymer chemistry with a purpose. My role as a faculty mentor and advisor is to not only to secure the funding and to help them embark on their research as they develop the thesis work that will go into their earning of their doctorate, but along the process, it's really sort of career and, and, and opportunity mentoring. So there are a number of professional groups in the department. The American Chemical Society has a student chapter affiliated with both the Polymeric Materials Science and Engineering Division as well as the Polymer Chemistry Division. There's opportunities that you don't just spend your entire five years here doing your PhD in the laboratory. You're connecting within the department, you're connecting with international collaborators, you're going to local, regional, and even international meetings to disseminate your research, to build your network because again, who you know, what you know, and who knows you are sort of three critical things that really drive my professional development philosophy with the students. Living here in Western Massachusetts is fantastic. I mean, I've moved here over 20 years ago, and it's just incredible. I mean, we have true four seasons. We have wonderful outdoor recreational opportunities. We have a vibrant intellectual community with the five colleges that are in the surrounding area great opportunities for music, wonderful food in the area. You can be in downtown Manhattan and on Broadway within three hours. Boston is also very accessible, so it's a really great place to live. Let's head into the lab and go see what some of the students are working on and a few of the facilities we have. Good morning, Ann. Good morning, Brian. So, how are things going in the lab today? Good. What are you working on now? I am working on a polymer purification step. My work is focused on the upcycling of polyolefins. So that would be something like high density polyethylene, which is what your milk jugs are going to be made out of. The aim of our project is to take waste polyolefin and transform it into polyethylene copolymers, um, which will extend the lifetime of those materials that would otherwise end up in a landfill. And what motivated you to come to UMass for your PhD? I have a bachelor's in chemistry from Chatham University. And I, while I was there, really fell in love with polymers due to um, a National Science Foundation uh, summer research experience. And based off of that, I decided, you know, polymers were the way to go. <laughs> and what are you hoping to do after you finish your PhD? After I finish my PhD, I am looking to go into industry. Um, where exactly I'll end up, not quite sure yet, but um, that's something that we're actively working on. And you've had a chance to interact with a number of industrial scientists and take advantage of the connections within PSC. Yes, I definitely have. Um, just last week, I was actually in Michigan at BASF's Wyandotte campus um, for a North American Research Forum, um, but I've also had the opportunity to attend ACS conferences as well as some others as well. Fantastic. So when you're not here working in the lab and upcycling polyolefins, what is it that you enjoy about the Amherst area? Um, probably one of my favorite um, things about Amherst is that there's really good ice cream. Um, I am currently on a quest to rank the best ice creams in Western Massachusetts. Hello, Juan, how are you? I'm doing great, how That's are you? That's fantastic. So, how's the experiment progressing? What are you doing here? My project is upcycling uh, of uh, polyolefins. Right now, we're working on high, with high-density polyethylene. So, we're uh, trying to find ways to improve their its physical, mechanical, and oxygen barrier properties. So, when you were choosing graduate schools or professional programs, what were you considering? And, and tell us a little bit about your background. So I graduated in, at the University of Southern Mississippi, and I did a double major in music performance uh, with violin and polymer science and engineering. So coming from a musical background, I was paying attention more to where, you know, I could go places that I could go to events, shows, operas, which are my favorite. So, you know, I want to thank you for watching the video and certainly if you have interest I'd be very happy to talk with you it's easy enough to, to contact me all of that information is up on the website again it's this great opportunity where polymers and soft material science are really going to make a contribution and we need everyone to come and contribute